Hello everyone, the Nord Medic here and in this video we will talk about a microbe known as the Staphylococcus aureus. Now Staphylococcus belongs to a group of medically important gram-positive cocci. Staphylococcal infections range from the trivial infections to some life-threatening rapidly fatal infections. Now most virulent of these genus is Staphylococcus aureus and it commonly causes food poisoning and toxic shock syndrome. Now this video will be a brief overview of Staphylococcus aureus and uh, will serve as a rapid revision tool for your exams. But if you want an in-depth understanding of the clinical picture and laboratory diagnostic algorithms of Staphylococcus aureus, I would highly recommend you to watch the video on Nerdmedics channel linked over here in the i button. Now let us understand where the Staphylococcus aureus belongs in the microbial world. Now Staphylococcus aureus is a gram-positive organism. So if we do a gram staining and of a Staphylococcal smear, it will appear purple cocci. So if you don't know what gram staining is, I would recommend you to watch the video on gram staining in our channel. The link will be in the description box below. Now the free living bacteria can be classified based on gram staining into gram positive and gram negative organisms. Now gram positive organisms can be round shaped or cocci or can be rod shaped or bacilli. Now in gram positive cocci, we have several groups like Micrococci, Enterococci, Staphylococci, Streptococci and Peptostreptococci. Now out of them we are going to focus on the Staphylococci. Now the three most important medically relevant uh, Staphylococci are Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. We will restrict our discussion in this video to Staphylococcus aureus. Now the features of Staphylococcus aureus. Under microscope, Staphylococcus aureus appears gram-positive, that is dark purple staining. Uh, it appears round, hence known as cocci, and occur in clusters or look like a cluster of grapes and that's why known as Staphylo. And also, they show catalyst positivity and coagulase positivity. And under microscope, originally Staphylococci look like this. Apart from that, Staphylococcus aureus is a facultative anaerobe, that means it prefers oxygen but can survive without it also. And it has a unique property of forming something known as a biofilm. And this is responsible for causing the IV cannula associated staphylococcal infections. Now, the capsule that the Staphylococcus aureus produces helps it to evade phagocytosis. Now, let us come to the pathogenesis of Staphylococcus aureus. Now, the, staphyl the basis of uh, pathogenicity of Staphylococcus aureus is present in the toxins it produces like the toxic shock syndrome toxin 1, the panton valentine leukocidin toxin, the hemolysin, the exfoliating toxin and enterotoxin. Now Staphylococcus aureus secretes exotoxins which affect the blood cells for example the hemolysin which causes lysis of RBC and leukocidin which causes lysis of WBC. Apart from that, it produces a fibrinonectin binding protein on its surface which binds to a fibrinonectin present on the extracellular matrix and helps the staphylococcus to adhere to the cells and the extracellular matrix. Now staphylococcus can colonize the skin and it, pre it is present as the normal general skin microflora. But if the skin gets breached, and the Staphylococcus can get the chance to invade your skin, they can range a lot of infections ranging from abscess, impetigo, folliculitis or even cellulitis. Now in the skin, the exfoliating toxin destroys the desmoglein 1 cell adherence molecule and causes scalded skin syndrome. Now Staphylococcus has on surface a protein known as a protein A. Now this protein A binds to the FC component of IgG and this renders the Staphylococcus unphagocytable because the macrophage cannot bind to the Staphylococcus anymore and this leads to an antiphagocytic effect. Now let us come to the diagnosis of Staphylococcus aureus. Now the lab diagnosis of Staphylococcus aureus ranges from collection of sample then, uh, then putting it into culture plates and performing cultures and then doing microscopy from smears produced from these cultures and then obviously performing biochemical analysis based on coagulase and catalase. Now if you want a detailed understanding of laboratory diagnosis of S. aureus, do check out the video on S. aureus on Nerd Medics YouTube channel. In summary, 
we can see that Staphylococcus aureus is belongs to a group of medically important gram positive cocci. Staphylococcus aureus are facultative anaerobe which can produce biofilms, can cause disease itself or by means of its toxins. Diseases range from trivial skin infections to life threatening toxic shock syndrome. I hope you have understood this video well. You can get high quality flashcards and notes on this topic and many other topics present on this channel if you follow us on our Instagram or Facebook page at Animated Biology with Arpan. The link will be in the description box below. Also, you, you can support us so that we can keep on creating high quality educational content for free by contributing on our Patreon page. Also, you can use the super thanks icon to support our channel on the bottom right corner of any video and you can contribute using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. If you wish to connect with Arpan of Animated Biology with Arpan, the links will be in the description box below and for medicine related content follow Nerdmedic's YouTube channel and the connection links are given over here. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.